So for this little extra bonus video, I'm going to teach you how to create your own mock-up so that you can do a mock-up for your ebook cover that we just created. So we're going to export our JPEG like we did in the last video. We have a JPEG of our cover and we're going to download a photo and I'll tell you where I got it from. You can find this in the resource guide. It's just a pexels.com free photo that you can download and we're going to place our image in this little area. So let's open up that photo and we are going to just drag in the JPEG we created of our cover. So dragging in our photo, it's going to make it a smart layer. And if not, we can always right click and make it a smart layer. Convert to smart object, excuse me. And we are just going to kind of get it about the right size. And now we're going to use a tool called Perspective Warp to be able to apply the perspective of the Kindle to it. So we're going to go up to edit, go down to something called perspective warp. We're going to go ahead and click on it. There's going to be two stages to this. So right now I'm just going to click and we're going to adapt this little grid. We're basically letting it, letting them know or letting Photoshop know where our document is. So we're just going to stretch these pins just across the part that we want to warp. We're going to press enter once and there's going to be a second step. So this is step two of two. We're going to be able to move the points and adapt it onto this Kindle. So we have a different perspective here. So just adapting these pins here and we're going to zoom in to make sure that we go all the way to the bevel. So we go right about here. We want to keep that bevel there to keep it as realistic as possible. So right about there. Go ahead and press enter and it's going to work its magic. So there it is. So now we need to make this a little bit more realistic because right now it um, doesn't have any shadows or highlights or glare. And right here you see kind of some blurring of the photograph. We're going to need to blur this as well to be able to add, uh, make it look like it really belongs. So first things first, let's create a new layer and let's add some shadowing where this bevel is to make it look like the screen is actually laying inside the bevel. Draw on a shadow with a soft round black brush. And we need to make our selection first. So let's just get our magic wand tool. We are just going to select our ebook cover, the outside, and then maybe we'll have to select the inverse. So just inverse selection. So now I have the inside selected. And on our shadow layer, I'm just going to paint on the shadow along the side. It's going to go just very little bit. And we'll be able to reduce the transparency here in a minute. Just doing that to make it look like it's on a bevel. Okay, not very much, and then we're going to reduce the opacity quite a bit on that. So we just want a little bit of shadowing. So that's um, before and after. It just helps it look like it's part of the photo. And one thing we need to also do is add glare. So let's add another layer. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to select our cover, select inverse. And for the screen glare, we're going to paint on white. And we're going to do a nice big brush. This is going to emulate the glare you naturally see on matte screens. If it was a super shiny screen like you see on an iPad, it would be a sharper, you'd probably use the hard round brush. But since this Kindles usually have a nice matte finish to their screens, we're going to use a soft round. So we're just going to paint a little bit of glare and then we are going, we could do an opacity or do a blending mode, try to find the right one. I believe soft light might be the winner there. And we can always reduce the opacity a little bit if it's too intense. So just reduce the opacity. But this is before it looks kind of flat. And this is after it adds a little bit of the screen glare to it. So there's one more step we need to do to make this feel like it's a part, a real part of the photo is blurring this bottom corner so it matches the natural blurring of the photograph. So right here needs to be blurred. And we're going to do that next. So we're going to select our ebook cover. This is our ebook cover layer, and we're going to apply a blur effect to it by going up to Filter. And we're going to go down to Iris Blur. So we're doing an Iris Blur filter. And we're going to have to adjust this iris here so that the top part looks nice and sharp, but the bottom part blurs. So we don't need a dramatic blurring, so let's bring this down just a little bit. We just want a little bit of blurring to match the photograph. Let's bring that down. Now let's click. We can also reduce it so it's at 15 pixels. We can reduce it to 8. So that looks a lot better. Let's go to our history. Kind of see what it looked like before 
you know, didn't really look like it was a realistic part. And then after, we're able to blur it a little bit. So just trying to match the photo and everything together by adding glare, highlights, and blurring effects. So there is our mock-up. We can change the background to anything we'd like. We can make it a, we could desaturate it really quickly and kind of really make our cover pop. Whatever we want to do, we can even make our cover black and white if it's a black and white Kindle. Anything we want to do to kind of make this our own mock-up.